So you just got done watching my first video, and now you want to know how to diagnose this cooling intrusion problem on a 1.5. Stay tuned, because I'm going to show you exactly how to do that. Yo, so welcome to the channel. My name is Mason, and for those of you that haven't subscribed, please go hit that subscribe button. It really helps me out, keeps me motivated. So let's talk about a couple things we're going to need to diagnose this. The first being the most important, a coolant system pressure tester. Um, we're going to put this on this car and put some pressure in that coolant. You know what I mean? That means exactly what it says. Coolant pressure test. We'll put some pressure in there. Put some pressure in that coolant. So, after we need that, you're going to need a quarter inch drive socket set because we're going to have to pull the ignition coil out to get the spark plug. I think it's a seven or an eight on these, but you're going to need a socket set, ratchet, quarter inch drive will work perfectly. Then, you're going to need a nine sixteenths or a five eighths. Ooh. Hell, I don't know. It's a 9 sixteenths or 5 eighths. I'll tell you in a minute when we get to it. Spark plug. Uh, if you're going to buy one, I would recommend getting a set. And I'm going to put links to all this stuff, what I recommend to get to diagnosis if you want to do it at home. This is real good stuff just to have if you enjoy working on cars. So, spark plug, little spark plug, like I said, you can get them real cheap off Amazon. So, I'll link one up down there. Third, fourth thing, the fourth thing is, you know, kind of optional, but I really like it. A $10,000 Snap-on scanner. An Actron OBD2 pocket scan. These things are real cheap, inexpensive, and they're super easy to use. It has two buttons. If you can't learn how to work something with two buttons, give up. Take it to a mechanic shop. Because this thing right here, it does, it has one purpose. It pulls engine codes only, no ABS, no airbag lights, none of that stuff. It pulls only engine codes. It's super easy to use. It doesn't give you descriptions. You give you a code, then you Google. Yeah, you ever heard of that big thing called Google? You just tick, 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 tick. Tick, tick, tick your code in there, and you'd be surprised what the internet will tell you. You, know, you might find me on there. So the last and final thing that I think you're gonna need to do this diagnosis is this Auto Pro UV coolant leak detecting stuff. Uh, it's basically this liquid, and you just pour it in your cooling system. Pull it right in there with the coolant and the water, and it turns it like this neon green and you know UV, you think you need a black light to see it, but you, you barely even need any light to see this stuff. And y'all are gonna see that here in a minute uh, when we go through and do this. But man, this stuff is great. And I'm not gonna talk a whole lot about it and how I use it and what it does, just because I plan on making a video here in the near future that when I make it, I'll stick it up here about this stuff because I like to pour this stuff in all my vehicles, even when they don't have a leak because Whenever they do go to weekend, you just parked out in the yard or on the driveway. When you back up, you're gonna see this stuff. It is very, very, very bright. It's hard to miss. So that's the last thing. Let's get right into doing this. Enough of me talking. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna pull down this OBD2 port here on this escape. And it'll be in a little bit different location on the Fusion, but you should be able to find it. It's a round, kind of trapezoid looking thing, I think. What's it? forget what a trap is what it looks like but we're gonna plug in our handy dandy pocket scan here and cut the car on and i'm gonna go ahead and tell you in advance because i know what's gonna happen i'm gonna pull up these codes and there's not gonna be any in there that's because they were recently cleared and it hasn't had time shut up car it hasn't had time to reset the code yet but when you pull yours if you have a check engine light on this is real important because we want to figure out what cylinder that is misfiring on we want to figure out which one because that's going to matter a lot here in a minute whenever we go to pulling which spark plug out. Okay, so I'm just going to show you a little quick how to use this. It's not going to work with the car off. So there you can see zero codes. We got zero codes in this. But luckily for me, I know which cylinder is the coolant's leaking into. So we don't need to know that code. But in your case, that code is definitely going to matter. And the last four of the the last uh, the last digit of that code the po3012 three or four is what cylinder that is having issues it's what cylinder that it's misfiring i'm tongue tied right now and i don't know why so we got this thing set up and i've already poured my uv dye into the degas bottle the coolant container here as you can see it's pretty neon green there um, so I can't really show you some dope b-roll of me pouring that in. So we got our correct adapter here that we're gonna plug into this degas bottle. We're just gonna screw it in. Need to go to this bottoms out and will not turn anymore on this degas bottle. And 
Now we're gonna go ahead and put our pressure tester up here. All right, got that on. Now we're just gonna pump this thing up too. And if you were curious on how much, it's right there on the cap, 21 PSI. But we're gonna pump this thing up too. So let me just get the pump in there. I know this looks wrong, but we're just pumping away. Now you can see I have 21 PSI on this thing. If you can see that or not, honestly, but and I just want to take my word for it. You got 21 PSI on here. So usually what we do at this point is let it sit for several hours. Uh, that way the coolant will leak over into the cylinder. But we're going to go ahead and pull the spark plug out. So this would be the point which you need to know which one of these spark plugs, which one of these cylinders that you're having your misfire, you're having your problem on. I know it's cylinder number one. I'm going to go ahead and unplug that coil there. You see me do real easy connector to unplug. I'm gonna grab my eight millimeter. We're gonna get in there, get that coal out of there. Two bolts. I forget. All right. So once we got that out, I'm gonna get my nine sixteenth spark plug socket. Yes, I think it's a nine sixteenth. All right, so got our 9 16 spark plug socket here. And now we're just gonna go. So when you go to take this spark plug out, if you look at this coal, it sits in there just like this. So the spark plug is actually more of like an angle towards the passenger side of the vehicle. I know that sounds weird, but it'll actually help you out when you go to trying to get this socket on the socket on the spark plug. So just like that. Okay. So now we're just going to take a magnet down in here and grab hold of the spark plug. And here will be your first sign. So you'll be able to look at this and you'll see how dark and burnt looking that spark plug is right there. If you can see that. Um, so something you can do to find out if it's coolant on there is you can smell it and it will usually smell like coolant. Another thing you can do, uh, might be a little bit of a safety hazard, but you can lick it. Um, you can <laughs> taste it. And if you didn't know this, coolant will be sweet and oil will be bitter. Oil and fuel will be really, really bitter and sour and coolant will taste a little bit sweet. Might be why your pets like it so much. So, all right, once we got that on there. We're going to give this thing a few hours to sit here or, you know, maybe just a few minutes. It shouldn't take a whole, whole long time. Hopefully it's going on over in there, but we got our pressure on there. So now we just got to let it sit so that coolant will intrude into the cylinder and we can spin the engine over and we will hopefully see coolant come out of here. Okay, so it's been a few minutes of me letting this sit here. So what I like to do... Really what I like to do is stick a bore scope down in this hole, but I understand that most people don't have access to a bore scope. If you do, just stick one down in there. It's super easy. You don't even have to spin the motor over. But if I don't have access to a bore scope, something you can do at home is get a blank white sheet of paper. We're gonna lay it down over this hole, just like that, the spark plug hole. And now I'm gonna spin the motor over. So, super loud, should have blew some coolant out of that cylinder, hopefully. So, what we do is flip the paper over, and as you can see, this thing slung coolant and our stuff all over it. You can see how neon orange that stuff is that comes out of there. So, if you got those goody goodies coming out of your motor, uh, that's definitely going to mean that you have coolant intrusion into the cylinder and you need an engine. So, you did it the first time, and maybe you didn't get any coolant out of the cylinder. Don't worry, let the pressure sit for several hours. Let the pressure sit for several hours, maybe even overnight, and come back and try again and see if you get coolant that time. Sometimes it takes a really, really long time for the coolant to leak off into these cylinders. It's just a real slow process. So that pretty much covers it. There's really not a whole lot to do in this if you have the tools to do it. 
So I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it really helped you out. Maybe you needed to know how to diagnose this problem. So if you haven't already, go ahead and make sure you smash that subscribe button. Smash it, elbow, chin, head, whatever you gotta do to make sure that you clicked it so that you can stay up to date on all my new stuff. Got new stuff coming out all the time. Try to do as much as possible unless I chop my finger off with a skill saw like I did a couple weeks ago, which a little bit of a setback, but I really appreciate you guys watching this video and I hope it helped you out. I'll catch you in the next one. We already poured it in there, so I'm not gonna show you some dope B-roll. Fuck.